Shiny hunting is really cool, but have you heard of mark hunting? Mark hunting is probably one of the most hardest types of hunts in the game because they are even more rare than shiny Pokemon. Actually, to put it better, if you're able to get a shiny Pokemon with a mark, that's probably the best ideal scenario. The question is, why would you even want marks? Getting marks to show up on Pokemon are pretty much bragging rights, and they allow your Pokemon to be even more unique than how they already are. And having a Pokemon, I don't know, that says the Chosen One on it, or having a Pokemon that says the Thunderstruck or any other cool titles when you throw them out into battle is probably a lot cooler than just throwing out a regular Pokemon. So when you go into a trainer battle, select the trainer, you throw it out, you'll get something that says the Valiant One, or the Chosen One, or the Thunderstruck, or there's just so many titles. There's like over 50 of them. Basically, we're going to be talking about how to get these Pokemon so you can brag about them and show off and be a little more unique than everybody else who is getting the exact same Pokemon. All right, let's first talk about how to identify marks in your game. You probably have marked Pokemon already because you were adventuring and catching Pokemon, but if you're new to the game and you already started your adventure and you're catching Pokemon, don't worry, I got you. All you gotta do is open up the summary of the Pokemon you've caught and then scroll over to the memory page. Once you go to the memory page, you're gonna see something that says title conferred. If that does show up on the menu, you're going to then go ahead and hit A to assign and you'll be able to see the options of the titles available to that Pokemon. Once you do, go ahead and assign that mark. I was actually really surprised that when I started to go through my boxes and look at the summary and go to the memory pages, I started to see a bunch of Pokemon that had title conferred. So basically what you have to do is you open up your Pokemon boxes. You got to start going through each of the box summaries. That way you're able to quickly see the Pokemon quick in each box by hitting the memory option. And then you're going to see the ones that have it. Once you see the ones that have it, you're then going to select that Pokemon and bring it over to your main box. So drag them over into your main party because for some reason the game doesn't allow you to add a mark or title to your pokemon from the pokemon boxes but you can let me know if you're able to do it but i wasn't once you put them in your party you can then open up the same menu like i said go to memories and then apply the title to them once you do select the title it does give you an idea of what exactly it's going to say you usually can see these when you activate a trainer battle versus just throwing them in the wild i think trainer battles are a great way to test them out if you're enjoying learning about marked pokemon make sure to hit that subscribe button it helps out the channel a lot and i'm able to make more videos like this because of your support thank you now there are some marks in the game that you'll be able to achieve on your pokemon by simply doing a few tasks so if these are ones are not as hard but you can achieve these ones so let's go over them and the reason you want to try to do this is because they're able to give you some really cool titles obtainable marks and ribbons the gourmand mark this one is one of the easiest marks to get on your pokemon in the game you just have to have your pokemon in your party while you are going to go ahead make a sandwich and eat the food or you're going into a town to one of those fancy restaurants and you're eating food. Once you're able to consume the sandwich, your Pokemon then have a chance of getting this mark to show up. In this example, I caught a bunch of Ghastly and then went to the fancy restaurant in Mesa Goza, the sandwich shop, ate a sandwich, and then I checked out to see if I had any marks. And before I knew it, one of my Ghastlies had the Gourmand mark and I could assign it to it. And then when I throw it into battle, it's going to say exactly the title it needed to say okay this one is specifically for collector's purposes but this one is the titan mark now the titan mark only applies to five pokemon in this game can you guess it it's the titans and the question is you can catch the titans yes you actually can if you go to all the old locations where the titans are you'll actually be able to find them there and in a weird static kind of encounter which means you can't just run into them and it initiates battle but you actually have to click a to start it so I was able to find Cloth right above its Herba Mystica cave on the hill going up. It was just hanging out there and I initiated into battle with it. It's just quick, knocked it down really quick to low health and then caught it. I did the same thing as well for Bombardier. Bombardier you can find as you're heading up that giant pathway to find it. You'll just see it sitting there <laughs> looking awkward. It's very easy to identify these Titan Pokemon. It's right up on the hill. That's where Bombardier was. The Great Tusk or the Iron Treads is going to be right in the Asado Desert, sitting in the exact same spot where you found the original one. It's just standing there, depending on the version of your game. Just click on it, hit A, and you'll be able to interact and battle with it. Tatsugiri, exactly the same spot as the first Tatsugiri to initiate that Titan fight. And Orthworm will be chilling right outside of this location on your map when you see it now once you're able to catch all these pokemon i cut all five of them and throw them into your party you'll be able to then do the whole entire open up the menu the summary hit x select the titan mark on them under the memories 
and then all of them will say that they were former titans before and that's really cool because it is a collection to have in the game to remind you that you played pokemon scarlet and violet and years from now you'll have this mark and it'll show up in maybe gen 10 gen 11 and it's just good to collect these ones and keep them for those purposes because it is probably a flex in the future and maybe not everyone is doing it and you can do that and have that pokemon over anyone else and it's pretty cool now these next two marks are going to be really interesting we have the jumbo mark and luckily for us all the titans that we caught are programmed to be at the largest size in the game and because they're at the largest size in the game if you head over to mesa goza west and talk to the lady by the flowers you'll see her standing there with two pachirisu like you'll see a really big pachirisu and a small pachirisu this lady is basically going to give your Pokemon a free mark depending on if they're able to achieve a large size or a small size. Now, because the Titan Pokemon are programmed to be at the largest size, you can experiment and talk to her with the Titan Pokemon and be able to get the jumbo mark on every single one of those Titan Pokemon. Because I mentioned this, you can get multiple marks on a Pokemon, especially the ones that you can manually put on them and, and expand as many as you can. Now, forget the Titan Pokemon. The big thing is you want to be able to get the jumbo mark on your regular Pokemon. So what I suggest is if you're out in the overworld and you see large Pokemon in giant groups, go ahead and try to catch one of them. Another great way to raise your chances of getting even larger Pokemon is by eating a Humongo Power Sandwich for a specific type. Once you pop one of those sandwiches out and eat them, it'll increase the chances of finding a very large Humongo Pokemon in that typing. And you can keep coming over to this lady to check out if you did happen to get that large Pokemon and she'll give you that mark on that Pokemon and you can keep it on it. Another mark that we can talk about is the mini mark. It's the exact same thing. And I always wonder what Teensy Power did. It, Teensy Power basically increases the chances of getting a very tiny Pokemon to show up in the world. And that's the whole connection. Teensy Power is so you can find a tiny Pokemon. So you can take the small Pokemon and head over to the lady in Mesa Goza and get the mark. So what I did was I ate a Teensy Power sandwich that was for Ghost. I found a bunch of Ghastly and started catching them. And then I went over to her and I kept getting these different phrases from her. Depending on the gases I showed her, some were very tiny, but they weren't the tiniest. So you do have to find the tiniest one. So it's going to be a little bit of a challenge, but if you're able to get it and you really believe you found a tiny Pokemon, you should be good and be able to get that mark. Okay, these next two ribbons are a little bit of a sidetrack because it involves you playing Pokemon Legends Arceus. And if you ever do want to take a tiny break from Scarlet and Violet and open up your Pokemon Legends Arceus to figure out how to get these marks, these ones are really cool. So we have the Hisui ribbon. This one is interesting because all Pokemon that you went to the photo booth with in Hisui and took those pictures with are going to have this ribbon on it. So keep that as an idea to use when you re revisit the Hisui region. I know a lot of people don't want to. It's a long game. But if you do have your bunch of Pokemon and you want to get them ready to send them to home, go ahead and take pictures there. Another one that's really cool is the Alpha Mark. Alpha Mark is only going to be assigned to Pokemon who were Alpha Pokemon in Legends Arceus. So if you have been collecting a bunch of Alpha Pokemon and the Arc compatible with Scarlet and Violet, I suggest you go ahead and grab those and bring them over. And the cool part is you can even get an alpha Pokemon to a photo shoot with that alpha Pokemon. That way it'll have the alpha mark and the ribbon mark and you can bring them right over to the game. So a little side project for those who are interested. I might actually do this after the video. Next up is the Mightiest Mark. Now Mightiest Mark is a really interesting one because it has to do with only seven star raids. So every time Pokemon makes an event for Scarlet and Violet and we have a seven star Terra raid, as of this video, the one that we're gonna be first having is the seven star Charizard raid. That's gonna be crazy. That one is going to be able to have the Mightiest Mark. So if you are able to defeat it completely and catch it, you will have the Mightiest Mark on that. So that is something to keep in mind. And Pokemon's going to be coming out with even more raids. So there's opportunities, even if you're watching this video later, to get these Mighty Marks. So don't worry about that. Okay, here is a really cool ribbon that is able to give you a cool title, but it's very hard to get. This one is called a Once in a Lifetime Ribbon. Now, this one is received upon Surprise Trade randomly that you get it the fact that it says once in a million on the ribbon is kind of scaring me because it just has a extremely rare chance for your pokemon you're surprise trading to randomly get it so this one you might have to keep surprise trading to make it happen i've tried it over like 200 pokemon and tried to get this but i have no luck so if you're able to get this please let me know down in the comments below or tell me in the discord server if you're part of it the Paudea Champion Ribbon. This one's pretty cool to throw on your Pokemon because obviously it, it is a champion ribbon. This is awesome. Basically, all you have to do is have your Pokemon 
in your party beat the league or at the post game you can challenge the ace academy tournament people throw a very powerful pokemon at the front of your party completely spam the entire ace tournament and you can keep getting that ribbon on every single one of your pokemon i know there's some crazy completionist people out there that want to just has have as many ribbons and marks as possible on their pokemon so i guess this video is really dedicated to you guys if you really want to get that all done but people who just want to get the basic stuff done and get some cool marks just to show off this is also a very great guide to do that the item finder mark this one is really hard and as of this video the entire community has not been able to figure out how this one works so some people are thinking we throw out the pokemon and we just send them out to collect items but we never put that pokemon away maybe it has to work like how you do the thousand steps to evolve a pokemon you just have to keep that pokemon out get a bunch of items never put them away and then finally when you get those items you might get the mark i don't know let me know what you think if we do get an update on the item finder mark i will pin this comment very difficult one to get no one's figured it out so hopefully you can now this one is my favorite mark in the game this is the one where you get the title the chosen one it is called the destiny mark now to get the destiny mark it's really simple all you have to do is go to a pokemon center and assign your birthday to a specific date then what you're going to be doing after that is saving your game and opening up your settings on your switch and date skipping to your birthday once you are able to date skip to your birthday and come back in the game you'll notice that the pokemon center it's gonna look all nice with a nice happy birthday there's gonna be really cool items so this is basically what happy birthday looks like you'll see the cool sign change so it's a big celebration now on your birthday in the game you have a chance of getting a Pokemon to show up with the Destiny Mark. So when you start going around and catching Pokemon, you might be able to pull off the Destiny Mark. Now, I went around and started catching a bunch of Pokemon to experiment with this Destiny Mark, and I was actually able to get one. And it's pretty cool to see. So maybe you can go find your favorite Pokemon in the game, go to Mass Outbreaks, and if you're really lucky, you get a shiny Pokemon that says the Chosen One on it. So go ahead and aim for that. Destiny Mark's really cool and very simple to do. And yeah, just your birthday. Okay, Effort Ribbon. This one's pretty easy to get on your Pokemon. This is not a mark, of course, it's a ribbon. But when you completely max out the EVs of a Pokemon or you do Effort Value Training, I have a guide on this if you need help, but you're going to then go ahead and fly over to Lavincia and talk to this lady. If she sees that you have maximum trained your EVs on your Pokemon, you will then get an Effort Ribbon. And that is another title that you could throw onto your Pokemon. If you need to see if you maxed out a certain stat all you have to do is just go ahead into the stat page and then view the graph feature which will show the little golden spike once you've maximized at least one ev stat perfectly so if you trained a bunch of pokemon or battle and you got them ready for raid and you're just ev training a bunch modest will just come here and grab the effort ribbon which will give you another title on your pokemon pretty cool stuff partner bark so if you have a pokemon at max friendship you'll see the partner mark just show up on the pokemon a good pokemon to check this out on is probably your starter or a pokemon that you beat the whole entire game with especially if you weren't focusing on friendship and max friendship you'll be probably able to get the partner mark and see it on it i found it on my fue coco basically the third evolution of it it was just sitting on it and i was like oh this is really cool i have this mark on it how did i get it and then you find out that it has to do with max friendship so you could get this on a pokemon you could stack actually a lot of these marks on your pokemon for the best friends ribbon you have to head over to a girl in Kaskarafa. you talk to her and if you have friendship very high in your Pokemon and maxed out, you'll be able to get the best friends ribbon. So you can stack ribbons and stack them with the marks on your Pokemon and get some really cool stuff to show up when you're picking the title under the memory section. Now, there are a lot of other very cool marks in the game that are random and they just are going to be on the Pokemon depending on if it's random weather. Sometimes it's a one out of 1000 chance to get a rare Pokemon mark on your Pokemon. That, that one's tough. I actually asked my Discord to post a bunch of marked Pokemon and they found a lot of different ones. Uh, so these chances are completely random. So what you want to do is essentially just find a food or item that has something called title power boosting. Basically, getting a title power is going to increase the chances of these titles just showing up on the Pokemon. Now, I ate one of these sandwiches and I caught a bunch of cloth. And because it was raining and it was a thunderstorm, I had a bunch of thunder marks on some of these cloth that I encountered. And that was not what I really wanted. I wanted some more unique ones but depending on the weather or the scenario if it's foggy you'll get different marks on your pokemon and this is a feature they've actually had since sword and shield and all these marks from sword and shield have come back to the game so you can try to mark hunt these pokemon so 
Yeah, marks have a really low chance of showing up on Pokemon. If you're able to pair them up with a shiny Pokemon and get that lucky, that is really awesome. If you have really cool Pokemon and they don't have marks, you now know how to also grab these marks by doing the manual ones. And also, you know, you could cheat and do some ribbon stuff too. Even though ribbons are not the same as marks, they still give you titles. So I did want to mention them in this video. So good luck, everyone, on your mark hunting. Share this with somebody who has no idea what the heck mark hunting is, and maybe you could be lucky. Let me know down in the comments below if you found any really cool marked Pokemon. I'm really curious. I love marked hunting. I think it's really awesome. And check the links down below to see the Cerebi list for the marked Pokemon. And if you're interested in shiny hunting, check out this video over here.